Sue and I, along with Dick and Gloria, took the Glacier Bay flight seeing excursion while we were in Icy Strait. Glacier Bay opens to the north off Icy Strait and extends some 65 miles through mountain forests leading to bare rock and ice. The area, designated as a national monument in 1925, covers some 3.3 million acres. Glacier Bay contains 16 different glaciers 12 of which are tidewater glaciers that calve to produce icebergs. In 1794, Captain George Vancouver visited the area and noted that the bay was a compact sheet of ice as far as the eye could distinguish. The bay was a mere five mile indentation in the coastline. 85 years later, in 1879, John Murr entered the bay guided by Clinkett Indians. The glacial ice had retreated up into the bay more than 30 miles from where Captain Vancouver had seen it. This is the fastest glacial retreat in recorded history. Clinkett Oral History says that Lower Glacier Bay was habitable for many centuries up until about 300 years ago when a final glacial surge forced them to flee their homeland. They moved and settled the town of Huna, Alaska across Icy Strait from Glacier Bay. Today, many Huna Clinket regard Glacier Bay as their ancestral home.
When you look at scenery like this, what do you see? Some may think of the scientific explanation that when two giant tectonic plates collided with each other millions of years ago, the shallow seabed rapidly folded and was raised into longitudinal ridges and valleys, as if mountains are the simple result of the random side effects of an ancient continental auto wreck. When I look at this picture, I think of art, a creation of intelligent design, a masterpiece that is pleasing to the eyes. Art has been defined in various ways. One definition is the product or process of the effective application of a body of knowledge, most often using a set of skills. For example, this definition is often associated with such phrases as liberal arts and martial arts. Another use of the word is associated with the skill used to produce an aesthetic result. The use of skill and imagination in the creation of aesthetic objects, environments, or experiences that can be shared with others. The original Latin meaning of art roughly translates to skill, craft, arrangement, or to arrange. In this sense, art is whatever is described as having undergone a deliberate process of arrangement by an agent. A more recent sense of the word art is its use of an abbreviation for creative art or fine art. Again, skill is being used to express the artist's creativity, or to engage the audience's aesthetic sensibilities, or to draw the audience towards consideration of the finer things. Disputes over what is art often come when people try to randomize it. For example, allowing cans of paint to spill onto a canvas may be categorized as art by some, but not all would agree. It goes against our nature to describe something as art when the skill factor or creative factor is removed. Years of musical training has taught me that there is a fine line between what I would call music and what is noise. Just one misplaced note can ruin the musical composition. The subtle variations of musical techniques can result in the difference between a pleasurable performance and something that is painful to sit through. One generally derives little pleasure from looking at a random accident, but a painting created by a skilled artist can be something enjoyable to look at. When I look at these ice falls that resemble frozen waterfalls, it is interesting to look at. To me, I am looking at art.
this shot, all of the open water you see was covered by glacial ice back in 1794 when Captain Vancouver first visited the area. During the trip back, our pilot spots a group of whales and circles the plane for us to get a closer look. Let's look at that one again. And again. <laughs> 